Here's something most passengers would panic about. Jet fuel is allowed to freeze in flight. And no, the engines don't just stop. Jet fuel doesn't behave like water. Typical jet fuel can safely cool to around minus 47 degrees Celsius. That's not a failure condition. It's a known operating limit. At cruise altitude, outside air can be far colder than that. So fuel temperature is monitored continuously. Fuel doesn't instantly turn solid. As it cools, viscosity increases, flow becomes harder, pumps work less efficiently. The issue isn't flame out, it's fuel flow margin shrinking. That's a slow, predictable process, not a sudden emergency. On ultra-long flights, crews watch fuel temperature like a hawk. If it approaches limits, they can descend into warmer air, increase speed slightly, or change routing. The solution is simple, because the risk develops slowly. So, here's the uncomfortable truth. Your fuel can be colder than dry ice, and the aircraft is still operating normally. Does that make aviation feel safer or more unsettling knowing how close to the edge it can fly by design?